Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you a project that I just made for my cousin whose birthday I'm going to tomorrow and um, I got him a present that inspired me to make a little bit of an extra effort for him for this present. Um, so I'm, I'm going to give him some Lego. This is uh, called Atlantis and I have no idea what this is but that's the one he wanted. And uh, you know everybody knows about Atlantis, the uh, undersea or, uh, or city, something like that. And uh, in the store where I got this, they had this kind of uh, display where they made kind of a Atlantis setting for these to be in. So I thought, well, he's gonna get this. I also wanted to give him a little bit more anyway but nothing that I could find for money that uh, could, you know, satisfy me um, or what I wanted. So uh, I decided to make him something. And so I made him a Atlantis setting, if you could say. I'm gonna find it now. Okay, so I made him this three, uh, two walls and the bottom. So what it is, is it's uh, over here I have a kind of a castle thing, actually it's uh, a castle that I cut out from my silhouette and darkened it. I'm going to take you closer, closer uh, in a minute. And the background is actually just printed out of the computer. Uh, also this one down here. Then I have some stickers around with some fish. And I uh, cut these out from a silhouette as well. These undersea grass, I don't know what's called. Um, and a treasure box, because I just thought there had to be a treasure box. So I'm going to bring you closer. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Okay, first of all, this is the back wall where there's a shark. He has a thing for sharks, so I had to put one of those in. But here's my castle, and uh, it's actually just uh, cut out of... Um, dark blue uh, cardstock and then I distressed it with some uh, uh, what's it called some different types of ink uh, there is some um, walnut stain some tea dye ink and some a darker brown and some black and then I finished everything off and you know you can see I, I focused kind of in the spears and in the perimeter of things and all around these little cuts here so it's dark around there and then at the end I'm just trying to tilt this I hope you can see that you can see it well the color got better for you <laughs> so I'm just gonna hold it like this you see um, I hope you will pick it out but I sprayed it with um, some glimmer mist in marshmallow to get it a little bit of shine because I thought that was kind of undersea magic something. As you can see the background is just I um, googled uh, under the sea and this picture came up and uh, it, w it was pretty big so I just printed it out on two pages and okay so I'm back. Um, the background is actually you can see there is some fish in the background you can see these dark spots here is actually fish because I thought that would look more lively <laughs> and um, I thought it was, ended up pretty good and just um, printed out two and just adhered them together you can see where it's aligned but well it's a small detail and did the same to this one over here it doesn't have anything very special um, there's an octopus here that I cut out from a silhouette I think it's adorable and again some fish and the undersea grass uh, on the bottom here, I also have something. It's called, uh, uh, well, I, I search for seabed uh, just to get something else on the bottom, and I think that was very, very good. And here are some stars, what is it called? Sea stars, maybe? A crab, I think that's very, very cool. And here's the treasure box. I just, uh, I made that out of um, chipboard all by myself and with some kind of gold ribbon here. Uh, can you see that straight? Okay. And uh, the green thing here should look kind of look like moss and it's all the way around and where it's standing too. And actually you can open it. 
and in here this is just some coins just to make it look cool. I hope you can see that because I didn't really have any control of it. It's grunge board uh, that I just inked and uh, put it in place with some brats. And uh, you can see there's also um, this is all the way around this ribbon here. But as you can see on the castle or in, in the background, there's a lot of silver dot. This is just a cheap glue dot or <laughs> glitter glue um, that I just put on there just to look like air bubbles. And I think that came out very well. Put that all over the place, just where I thought it was needed. Um, so yeah, that's his kind of 3D... Um, Atlantis that he can play in with his Lego, so I hope he's gonna love it Because uh, I do <laughs> So of course I hope that he does so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed and get some inspiration from it because it's Well, it took me a night um, Some hours and I think they're well spent Very well spent so I hope you got some inspiration try it out. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye